morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ali Momeni. I'm an artist and instrument designer living in Pittsburgh. I'm really glad to be here. I'm a part of the Iranian takeover of Kiev Capital. <laughs> and, and I'll begin by sharing some things about what Creative Capital helped me do in the last couple of years. Let's begin, please. Um, I'll be telling you about a street a puppetry theater project called Telepuppets and also a manual for urban projection, which is this text that I promised everyone I'll write in the next two years. It's here now. And a thousand-year-old poem from Iran. So we started by making a couple of puppets. I had a mustache until a few days ago, so the left one is me. And we call them telepuppets because they can record video and stream it to the net. Uh, we, uh, my puppet is made to be an interviewer. My collaborator's puppet is a newsman journalist. And we traveled to uh, Br Brussels and Madrid and Liverpool and asked Iranian immigrants where they would go back home if they could snap their finger and be there. And then we went there. So we went back to Iran and reenacted all of these people's memories on site. We visited the main bazaars of Tehran. We went to the famous ice cream shop of a kid named Hali. Uh, we went to Persepolis, of course. And then we went back to Europe and tried to share these memories with the European citizenry through this kind of public projection, layered social political performance. These types of layered works are a topic of research for me and with help from Creative Capital in the last couple of years. And Stephanie Sherman, we decided to reduce a lot of these le lessons and wisdoms into a book, a kind of manual starter kit. Uh, this manual is made for artists, community organizers, activists, public programmers, school teachers, and anyone who wants to work outdoors with video. The focus is on mobility and low cost, lo-fi, intuitive interfaces, and, and methodologies that are social. It includes lessons from projects like Statue Vision, where we had school children from Capitol Hill Montessori School teaching adults about history with 3D projections. It includes events like H3O, where I worked with Drift Pittsburgh to create a very large-scale cinematic interactive event under a bridge. And again, the focus here is on no 20,000 lumen projectors, no two-story scaffoldings. It's really about doing a lot with a little. The MUP, as we call it, the manual, it covers concepts and tools about urban projection. We were very fortunate to work with an incredible designer named Matthew Rezak, who created this wonderful artifact for us. And the book is accompanied by a whole lot of online tools for giving references to urban projection tools, examples that are out there, and a whole bunch of people and projects and spaces that are active in this space. Now, the manual's done. Um, the puppets are on the road. My puppet uh, volunteered to do a Kickstarter video for this project, so if you want to follow up, you can find us on Kickstarter. We really want this book to be in bookstores and museums and whatnot. Uh, Nima, on the other hand, his puppet is off with a great brilliant business plan of going into the taxi business. We're going to start a project where your stories are your currency. You get in a car, and if you have a good story about employment and immigration, you get to keep riding with us. <laughs> for this project, we're looking for residencies, but really, more than anything, we're looking for sane partners in, serv in shady services like Uber and Lyft. Uh, the last thing that I want to tell you about is a thousand-year-old story by this Persian poet named Ferdowsi. Uh, at a time like this, it's very important to think of this story because, as many of you know, about 1% of Iran's history is Islamic. The rest of it is not. Uh, the Shahnameh is a, a story that's full of sexy, violent, polemic, rhetorical, expressive, uh, really the cultural artifacts. And it has a contemporary tradition of a man standing in front of a mural and telling the story. So I've put together a team, an amazing illustrator, screenwriter, and some computer scientists and roboticists. And we're working on a stage performance of this tradition called Naqali, where a storyteller is accompanied by flying robots that help them tell the story on a projected screen. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the, the robotic interaction. We've created a system where the storyteller can use, use his gestures to conduct complex choreography for the robots. The robots will be helping him tell the story. Uh, we're also really fortunate to work with incredible artist Hamid Rahmanian, who's made the most contemporary version of the Shahnameh. He spent years of his life scanning and redrawing imagery from 82 ancient books. Uh, in the meantime, we've been building these systems that help us turn drawings into animation. So here's a thing we made where the drawing on the table is captured and immediately becomes a gesturally controllable animation. Imagine that large mural in that scenario is actually filled with elements in this way. Here's a short example of what you might do with some of Hamid's drawings. So the sequence here is we bring his drawing in, we rig it, and we puppeteer it with the hands. 
and on and on, then the process that you're seeing here is about a four minute process that creates a complex layered animation in this way. Uh, this is in early stages of development. We're looking for residencies and workshops to uh, develop this further. I also have lots of ideas about what else can be done with Dranimate or Dr. Uh, Dr. Animate, as we call it. And I'd be happy to speak to anyone who understood any of what I said in the last three minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much.